Well, it's Latina Equal Pay Day, and we're cashing in on a reality check. Right now, according to the National Women's Law Center, Latina women make 57, 57 cents to every dollar that a white man makes. So what does that really mean? And why hasn't that pay gap for Latinas moved much for so many decades? Monica Ramirez, president and founder of Justice for Migrant Women, joining us now to talk about the movement working toward a more profitable future for our hardworking women. Monica, thanks so much for being here this morning. Thank you, Kira. Let's start with your op-ed, Latina, this week, where you mentioned how even though the pay gap has increased two cents since last year, it doesn't really tell the whole story. So break it down. What, what did this increase really mean, Monica? Thank you. Yeah, you know, I think that when people look at that number, they say, wow, we've, we've made a little bit of ground. But the truth is that what that 57 cents represents, the two cent increase from 55 cents to 57 cents, that really accounts for the fact that more than one million Latinas were pushed out of the workforce during this pandemic. Uh, many of those Latinas stayed unemployed for more than six months. And during the time when the data was being calculated, to, for us to better understand what the wage gap was in 2020, those women workers were not even counted. So that is the reality with this particular data. Um, but I think it's important for us to understand that the pay data collection methods overlook many women all of the time, not just during this pandemic. There are um, individuals who are working part-time, who are working in the gig economy. We know that many domestic workers are impacted because of lack of collection of their data. Um, immigrant women and, and undocumented women, so many individuals, the trans uh, Latinas across the country, trans community members, their data isn't being collected. And so we don't have a full reflection of what the true uh, data gap is. What we know is dismal but we don't have a complete picture. And during this pandemic, we know that things didn't get better for Latinas, they got worse. Mm. And well, here's something we do know, companies can do more to, to level the playing field. So if you were able to sit before various CEOs, what would you say uh, could be done and something very quickly for Latina women? Well, first of all, in this pandemic, as Latinas are figuring out how they're going to get back to work, we need employers to implement policies that are going to provide paid leave. And I know some employers say, well, it's not required by law. That's something that needs to change politically, but employers can change their policies on their own to ensure that people have the support that they need to be able to care for their children and do their work, as well as other uh, their own for their own health care and other people who in their families who've gotten sick during this pandemic and going forward. We need to make sure that as, as Latina workers and others are going back to work, that they're being put in positions that are the equivalent, if not better, than the positions that they had before. And also employers should do their own audit to make a determination as to how they are doing. Are they paying fairly across the board? Um, because we need to be making sure that we're checking ourselves. It shouldn't require government intervention or a government mandate. Employers have the power now to be good employers and fair employers, and that's what we're asking for. Well, with uh, the power of your movement, I know you're going to continue to make change. And by the way, love the art hanging up behind you. Beautiful. I bet you there's a story behind every piece, Monica, right? Kara, we need to have another conversation about the art. But yes, there definitely is a story behind this art. <laughs> okay, good. Next time, you got a deal. Monica Ramirez, thank you so much. Appreciate you. All right. Thank you. Take care. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.